is water activity and moisture content same? Water activity and moisture content are not the same, but these are related. I am going to explain their differences and relationship. First, same composition with different water contents. We can consider fresh and dried apricots. In both cases, solids are the same, but water contents are different. Water content in fresh apricot is 80 percent and water activity is 0 0.93, while dried apricot contains 22 percent water and its water activity is 0 0.62. This indicates decreasing water content decreases water activity. Therefore, there is a relationship between water content and water activity, although these are not the same. Second, same water activity with different composition. In this example, we could observe the same water activity for two food products, honey and cookie. These have the same water activity of 0 0.65 with defined moisture content that is 18 and 5 percent. This is due to the difference in the types of solutes in honey and cookie. Third, same water content with different water activity. In this example, we could observe the same water contents in salt and sugar. That is, 16 percent moisture content causes different water activity. That is, 0 0.900 and 0 0.998. All examples in the earlier slides, we could observe that both solutes and water affect the water activity. Generally, three major components affect the water activity of foods. That is water solutes and ice. Characteristics of solutes, for example, molecular weight, chemical structure, hydrophilic and hydrophobic characteristics and solid water interactions are the most important factors affecting water activity. Therefore, we can attain a desired water activity of a food by manipulating water as well as solutes or solids content and ice formation by freezing. In addition, we could change the solid properties such as hydrophilic and hydrophobic characteristic of solutes. In this slide, I am outlining the five differences between water activity and water content, although we can relate them. First, water activity indicates the energy state of water in a food, that is, higher energy state of water molecules create them mobile and reactive, whereas moisture content indicates the amount of total water content in a food. Second, a driving force, that is, chemical potential is used to define water activity, whereas there is no driving force used to define the water content. Third, standard is used to measure water activity, whereas a standard is not used to measure moisture content. Fourth, water activity has no unit, that is, it is a dimensionless number, whereas moisture content is presented with a unit in concentration, either weight basis or dry basis. I am going to explain both definitions later. Finally, water activity originates from equilibrium thermodynamics, whereas moisture content originates from composition. In the following slides, I will explain each point with appropriate examples. Consider a food showing its geometric boundary. In the solid matrix, water molecules are marked as black, yellow, and red. The color indicates the three states of water molecules, that is black is low energy state, yellow is medium energy state, and red is high energy state. Higher energy states indicate higher reactivity. 
Water activity is related to the energy state of water, which is related to the chemical potential of water in the sample. Chemical potential is then related to the fugacity of water molecules and fugacity is related to the vapor pressure of water. And then vapor pressure is related to the water activity. I have explained these in one of my earlier videos on one the water activity. Water activity is the ratio of water vapor pressures in a food and pure water. Moisture content is defined as the mass of black, yellow and red water divided by total mass of all contents inside the boundary. Chemical potential is the driving force for measuring water activity. In commercial measuring water activity meters, a sensor is placed on the top roof of a small closed chamber. Sample in a container is then placed inside the chamber to reach an equilibrium energy state of water inside the sample and the surrounding air. If the sample is equilibrated with the surrounding air, then water activity of the sample is the same as the relative humidity of the surrounding air. This is the reason why most of the water activity meters measures relative humidity of the surrounding air when sample is in equilibrium with the air. Commercially, different types of sensors are being used. Moisture content is the mass of water divided by the total mass, that is weight basis or mass of water divided by total dry solids, that is dry basis. Dry solids are the moisture free contents of a food. Dry solid is measured by drying the sample in an air oven. Wet basis presents in reference to the total mass, whereas dry basis presents in reference to total dry solids, that is gram water per 100 gram sample and gram water per 100 gram dry solids. Commonly moisture content is measured by drying a sample in an oven until all moisture is removed. The end point of water removal is determined when no change in mass is observed. Therefore, no standard is required to determine the water content. Water activity has no unit, while moisture content needs to present per unit mass of a sample or unit dry mass of a sample. Finally, as I mentioned at the beginning, water activity originates from thermodynamics while water content originates from composition. I would like to thank you for watching this video until the end.